All right. So I have this thermostat, which is pretty common in a lot of travel trailers. And I wanted to put in the Honeywell, the digital. I don't really like the little slider thing. It feels sort of old school to me. Um, let me grab my phone here and I'll show you the exact model, the thermostat. There you go. It's the Honeywell TH511D1006 from Honeywell. And I also want to show you this little switch for high and low fan because the new Honeywell won't have that option. So I'm going to show you the switch. This right here essentially is the toggle switch. Um, that's not the exact one that I used. I couldn't find that. I mean, they had it on Amazon, but I ran down to a local air conditioner supply company and I showed them the parameters that I needed, the 125 volt, six amp, single pole, double throw switch, which means it's on in either position, left or right. And let me show you how to wire this thing up because I kind of had a tough time with mine even after watching a lot of videos. One of the things to remember that I kept stumbling across is on uh, these new thermostats where it says cool on, that will flash on and off when it's in auto and it won't come on. And I thought, man, I had to have wired something wrong. Turns out that it's a fail safe built into the Honeywell to keep your compressor from repeatedly starting too quickly. So uh, if yours is flashing cool on, once you finish the installation, there's nothing wrong with it. Just give it about two minutes and then it'll kick on. So let me show you the wiring because it's honestly pretty simple. The same wires that come out of the back of the existing thermostat. I will tell you this, the blue wire, once you clip that, you're gonna tuck that one back into the wall. Just cover it. You're not using that wire anymore. You are going to use the rest of them and I'll show you exactly how. The red wire goes up top to the RC. There's a little jumper you're going to plug it into the top one that says RC. Y is for yellow. W is the white wire. And G, although this is a green wire, this is a wire that I have running to the center pole on the toggle switch to give me uh, power. Okay, so you tuck away the blue wire. So really the only wires you're using that are coming out of the... Uh, as ex existing unit are the uh, the red, the yellow, the white, and then this can be just a dummy wire that you have laying around because that one's going to go to the center pole or the center connector on the uh, toggle switch. All right. So on the toggle switch, let me take the phone off this little cradle here. On the toggle switch, you're going to plug in the green wire or that blue or whatever it is, kind of green. The green wire on one side and the gray on the other. Those already exist coming out of your wall that used to plug into your old system. The big fat green wire right there, that's the one that I have running to the center pole on the toggle switch, okay? So gray is gonna go on one side, green's gonna go on the other. This one just happened to be green that I used. It could be any color, but that wire is going to go down here to the bottom. All right, so let's put the whole thing back together. Pretty simple. You've got the, uh, the wires that used to go to the AC. You've got the gray and the green. Remember, those go on either side, either connector on the toggle switch. The center wire can be any color, of course, and that one plugs in here to the bottom. So basically, you tuck all your wires back in. I don't think I need to tell you that you should kill the power before you do this. Uh, I saw a lot of people online who were uh, disconnecting their batteries and unplugging themselves from shore power. Uh, for me, I was a little more daring. I just uh, went down to where the fuses are and turned off the breaker. And that may not be the right way, but it was the right way for me. So put this all back together. Now 
you take this after popping in your batteries. Lined up. There we go. Okay, let me turn the power back on. And there you go. Air conditioner is back on. You can set this to wherever you want it. Of course, it'll do heat. You can turn the whole thing off if you want. Now watch, when I turn it back on, it's probably not going to come back on. It's going to do a little fail-safe thing in auto mode. See how cool on is flashing? That's your fail-safe. It doesn't want to burn up your compressor. All right, so I've been waiting a couple of minutes here. You still see the cool on flashing. Keep you from burning up your compressor. It'll click on here, I imagine, in a minute. And up top, there it goes. So we're back on with cold air. And if I want to set it to the uh, low fan, there you go. It's low and then high.